My name is Anthony McLemore and this is my Roth IRA. What's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you exactly how to invest in a Charles Schwab Roth IRA with the goal of becoming a tax-free millionaire. I plan to give you an in-depth overview on what a Roth IRA is, how tax sheltering works, and how you can start taking advantage of it for yourself with the goal of building wealth today. So if you stick around to the end of this video, you will learn exactly how I set up my own personal Roth IRA with the exact investment strategy that I've chosen to pursue and what the best time to get started for you may be. So let's get started. What is a Roth IRA? Basically, a Roth IRA is just an individual retirement account. It is very similar to a traditional 401k in that its main goal is just to supplement your retirement income. So this could be to just cushion your 401k balance to give you a little bit of extra money when moving forward into retirement. But one of the main differences between the Roth IRA and the 401k is simply the amount of money that you can put in. I think an employer-sponsored 401k has a max contribution per year of about $19,500, and a Roth IRA, you can only contribute $6,000 to it. So this means that once you contribute a max of $6,000, you won't be able to put any more money into that specific portfolio without paying some sort of penalty or if you can do it in the first place. So obviously I'm not some kind of finance expert, so I don't know the answers to every situation, but I do like to come onto YouTube and the internet in general and express my opinions and allow a transparent look into my own portfolios. So back to a Roth IRA, the biggest difference between a Roth IRA and the other retirement account is the way that a Roth IRA is treated with taxes. So basically with a Roth IRA, you are contributing after tax dollars and once you contribute that money and allow it time to grow you won't have to pay any capital gains tax on that money in the future so this is the whole goal of a tax-free millionaire meaning that the money you put in today will grow in the future and you won't have to pay any taxes once you choose to withdraw it so to give that a quick comparison i think the median salary in the u.s right now is around sixty thousand dollars and with a sixty thousand dollar paycheck you'll end up paying about 25 percent of that in federal income taxes and if you had a portfolio with about over 450k and capital gains, you end up paying about 20% of that in capital gains tax, long-term capital gains tax. So with a Roth IRA, you can potentially fund your retirement without having to encounter these taxes in the future, which is one of the main attractive features of a Roth IRA. Many people don't like a Roth IRA simply because you have to wait until you're 59 and a half before you're able to withdraw your money. But for someone who's trying to build long-term wealth, I find this as one of the best ways of becoming a tax-free millionaire, which is why I decided to start my Roth IRA very recently. So just to make it really simple, what does all this even mean? This means that if you want to become a tax-free millionaire, the first things you have to do is smash that like button because it really helps out small YouTube channels like mine and allows me to grow with these bigger YouTubers out here. And I'm just trying to do my part in providing valuable content so that you're able to learn and make educated investment decisions. So all you have to do is just simply lightly tap the like button one time until it turns blue and that would mean the world to me. But seriously, all of this means is that if you can consistently contribute to a Roth IRA and give that investment enough time to grow in the future, over the course of a few decades, you could realistically become a millionaire all tax-free. This is because of a number of different factors, mainly compound interest and also taxes, but just a consistent investment in general will allow you to build a ton of wealth over time. This is sort of like a tax sheltering that Roth IRA gives you. So right now we're gonna have a little bit of fun and pull out my handy nanny calculator and see exactly when and how you can become a tax-free millionaire by utilizing a Roth IRA. So right now I'm on calculator.net on my phone and I basically just use this to sort of extrapolate a portfolio value based on the numbers that I put in today. So with a Roth IRA, you have a starting amount of, let's say $0, and then we want a rate of return of about 8%. And this is after inflation, so I'm gonna say 8%. Usually the market returns about seven to 8% after adjusting for inflation, so I'm just gonna be on a high end right now and go ahead and say 8%. So we're gonna have an annual contribution of that max Roth IRA of $6,000. And then we're gonna say after 35 years, I already did this math before I started recording this video, so I know it's gonna take 35 years. I just want to be a little bit shorter and let you see exactly what this number can be. So you're starting with $0 and only contributing $6,000 a year, which is you know not a ton of money and let's see what that comes out to be well first we want to make sure we click the year instead of month so we're contributing this every year so when we calculate this number we get an ending balance of one million thirty three thousand nine hundred dollars and eighty two cents and that is with a six thousand contribution annually so what i want to take you through on this calculation is just the amount of interest or growth that you have in your portfolio based on the principal that you put in and the growth or the compound interest is basically what makes your whole portfolio it's the reason why you want to invest in the first place is just to have growth so 
on this little chart right here, we can see that the total contributions equal $210,000 with the total interest that you earned in your portfolio being $823,900.82. Now this is just incredible, but I don't really think this puts the whole number into perspective. So this website has one more feature where if I scroll down, I can see the table. So basically on the table, I like to see when the interest that I earn starts to outpace the amount of money that I put in. So we can see that around year 10, we can see that we're earning about $6,000 annually from interest. So every year from year 10 in this portfolio, the amount of interest that we are earning is outpacing the amount of money that we're putting into the portfolio. But by the time year 35 comes around, even though we're only putting $6,000 into the portfolio, we're earning $76,000 per year in interest. So to apply it to my situation, I'm 21 years old. And if I was to invest for 35 years, by the time I'm ready to retire, which would be at about 56 years old, maybe a little bit later, maybe a little bit earlier, I would be a tax-free millionaire basically for making the smart financial decisions. So since that was so exciting for me, I want to take you into my own personal portfolio so you can see exactly where my Roth IRA holds and what investment strategy I decided to pursue. So here we are in my Roth IRA. The total balance as of today is $11,193.41. The most recent day's change being $153.93 or 1.39% gain. So before we go into any of the balance, let's go into a little bit of history. You can see that I just recently funded this portfolio about two months ago now, a little bit less than two months ago. So I funded it for 2019 with $6,000 and a couple days later, actually two days later, I funded it for 2020 with $6,000 as well. And I bought the same index fund, I bought the same security. I think with a Roth IRA, I wanted to make it as passive as possible with my investments. So that's why I didn't decide to buy any individual stocks, but I did want something that would be consistent over the long term. So we go back to my positions. You can see that I only hold one holding or one index fund and that's SWPPX. SWPPX is a Charles Schwab S&P 500 index fund. And basically it is what it sounds like. It tracks the S&P 500 as accurately as it can. And I have 256 shares, 0.553 at an average cost of 43.63 per share. So with that being said, I did fund this account with $12,000 and it is a little bit down at the moment. And that's simply because I started to invest right when the market was taking a turn for the worse because I saved up most of this money throughout college and I didn't really see a good opportunity to put my money to work for me in college because I was always kind of afraid of, oh, it's the longest bull market in history. I don't know when it's going to go down. And, you know, it has to go down at some point. And I didn't want to buy at the very top of the market and be left waiting for a recession to turn around just to break even. So I did break this rule a little bit by getting it early. So right now I'm going to pull up a chart of the S&P 500 and I'll do my best to sort of estimate exactly when I bought in. But you can see on this chart that I did invest when I thought it was going down, invested at two points when it dipped a little bit and then dipped a little bit more. It has gone down a little bit since then, but I'm only down a little bit under 7% since then. So I don't see that as a big problem for myself. So now that I showed you my Roth IRA, I want to give you a quick little overview on what I plan to do with it going forward. So basically, since I already funded it for 2019 and 2020, I just want to fund it for 2021. And once I add 6,000 more dollars to the portfolio, I plan on just accumulating as many shares of SWPPX as I can at this time. I think I want to get about 1,000 shares. So I'm about a quarter of the way there right now. And then I will start diversifying into total market index funds and international index funds. So basically the reason why I chose Charles Schwab and one of the reasons why I would recommend it to other people who's trying to get into a passive investing strategy is that it is a very low expense index fund. So I've seen a couple of index funds that have about 0.05 or 0.1 expense ratios as far as expenses go. But I'm going to pull up a screenshot now of the Charles Schwab expense ratio and it is at 0.02% for this SWPPX index fund. And right now that's the second lowest that I've seen so far. I think either Fidelity or Vanguard had a lower expense ratio and TD Ameritrade was about third. So Charles Schwab was sitting like right near the bottom at about the middle as far as expense ratios go. But I was really happy to use the Charles Schwab index fund because of the low expense ratio. And I saw that it was a very stable return to track the S&P 500 really well. So I think I'll do a series on where I just update you on the value of this portfolio every month. Just let me know in the comments if you're interested in something like that. And I'll be sure to make a video. But as far as my recommendation to you, when you're getting started with a Roth IRA, I would suggest to just get started as early as possible and contribute on autopilot. So when I first got started, I saved up all the money at once and then contributed six thousand dollars and six thousand dollars at a time but what i'm going to do in the future is i'm going to save about five hundred dollars per month which equals just about twenty dollars per day and contribute that to this index fund every single month on autopilot so i never really have to think about it and then over the course of the next 10 20 30 years i will just watch my investments go to work for me and hopefully one day i'll be able to be a tax-free millionaire
This is not my only retirement strategy. I do have a couple other brokerage accounts that I will be using to invest. And one of them is a Robinhood portfolio that I will be using for dividend investing. Now that is something that I'm really excited about because I am doing a challenge right now on YouTube. I'm gonna be starting it with maybe my next order the video after that next video on building a Robinhood dividend portfolio in order to get income for retirement. I know this is pretty popular on YouTube already. I see a lot of other YouTubers doing the same sort of dividend portfolio update challenge, whatever you wanna call it. But I do think that it is a very fun thing to watch and I watch as many of them as I can. So I'm all for being able to provide a little bit more content to YouTube, I guess. So I plan on doing that with a Robinhood portfolio. And I do have a Weeble portfolio that I want to use to have a growth portfolio. So not necessarily all dividend stocks, but maybe a little bit more of growth stocks like, I don't know, like Tesla or Amazon or any other things like that. So, so if you want to see more content of me updating like that, just hit that subscribe button and I will be uploading at least three times a week. I might do a little bit more with this whole quarantine thing going on, but that is to be determined. So that's all I have for you today, guys. If you like this video, please do your boy a big favor and hit that thumbs up button it really helps me grow and helps me rank a little bit higher in the youtube algorithm and with channels like mine it's really hard to rank high in the youtube algorithm so i can really use any like any comment any kind of engagement just drop a comment down for you boy and we can have a little chat in the comments just to get a little bit of engagement on my video if you don't want to do that that's fine i completely understand but i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time guys peace